Ride scooters across America from San Francisco to New York? This sounds like a really dumb idea. This is about seeing America up close. This is about America at 35 miles an hour. Enjoy our video as my son and I attempt to ride little scooters from San Francisco to New York. And for some of you that get it, you can join us on our return trip next summer. Okay, we finally started our ride. We left San Francisco this morning. The scooters were working great. But we came across the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. And um, so the Golden Gate Bridge is actually got a speed limit of 45, but people are going way fast. And so this is us trying to cross the bridge and trying to do it reasonably on little tiny scooters. The day started out with us stopped at a little fruit stand that was really good and we got some fruit and it was just kind of a whole different culture and just as much fruit as you can jam in a little tiny store. It's kind of cool. But we had a great day and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day two. Sacramento to Fallon, Nevada. Scooters across America. They started off with perfect weather and we hit the Sierra Mountains. Going up into the Sierra Mountains, it was just a great road with the tree canopy engulfing the roadway, just covered in pine needles and winding up and around the mountains, just perfect. Okay, we made the little bikes work for climbing the hill. Finally, we reached Echo Summit at 7,400 feet and pulled over and let the bikes cool down. These bikes didn't have enough power to make it up, so I had to help them with my feet a little. Just kind of reminiscing of my old days on my 50. Just like when I was a kid, riding this little tiny bike up around the up over the hills, I'm looking all over always, worrying about where the cops are. And check out these roads, just up in the mountains. They're just really cool, even without the tree canopies or winding, just really cool views and things off on the sides. Okay, it was lunch in Tahoe at a place called Bob Dog Pizza. It had a lunch special and Jeffrey had the meatball sandwich. We finally reached the end of California and are working our way up into Nevada. However, is it really this straight. We're just going down this straight road, desert off to the side. What's there to see? Hey, this is the loneliest road in America. This is Highway 50. This is what we get. Welcome to Nevada. So today, as I was riding up in the mountains, I decided, ooh, after seeing all the pine codes, I was going to throw and hit my dad with one. And then I stopped and picked it up and put it on the bike. And it just stayed there perfectly. Rode all the way down into Nevada today and lost it somewhere off Highway 50. So, so now someone can find a pine cone in the middle of the desert. Scooters Across America Day 3 would turn out to be the longest day. Some 411 miles, yes, on those little scooters. And we crossed nine passes. But a lot of the day was wide open, having fun, and it truly was a very lonely road. Hardly anybody around. So we just took advantage of it and had a little fun. But time went on, and for hours and hours, we rode across America at 35 miles an hour. The desert was broken up by nine separate passes as we came across. Um, which slowed us down a bit, and uh, we got to enjoy the scenery that way. Going across the desert floor, we kept running into these little hills. Most of them didn't turn out being so little. Every time we made it to the top, by the time we were up there, we were only going like 25 miles an hour. So if there was a summit sign, we had to get a picture just to prove that we could climb hills. We came across a dry lake bed and we could not resist driving down, driving on it, playing a little chase around. So this is me chasing Jeffrey around here, trying to figure out 
how to catch him, what to do. We were tired of being out on the highway, so we decided to have a little fun just playing around on the dry lake bed, chasing each other around. Had a great time, great little way to get away from the long pavement stretch. So feeling like we conquered it, we celebrated. Bad news, Scooter seems like it's making a grinding noise. So Jeffrey he took it apart last night and we took a look trying to figure out what it might be all about. Couldn't find anything. Mm. Scooters Across America, day five, we're headed to Jackson, Wyoming. You bought him out on that grate? <laughs> no, I slowed way down. Oh my gosh, when I bought him this thing out, I was like, uh-oh, he's going to be in big trouble. This road is amazing. <laughs> Are you continuously bottoming out? Because you're going... I'm rocking horse. I go back and forth. Because <laughs> it looks like really smooth, but... Um... <laughs> Well, surprise to me, we encountered a gravel road. It's really hard for me sitting in San Diego to tell exactly whether a road's a gravel road or kind of a paved road, um, but I blew it on this one. My goal is to only have uh, paved roads on this route, um, so I guess I'll have to look for a reroute. Although this, paved, this gravel road was actually quite nice, but um, maybe I'll include it as a hard option, but uh, Anyway, I guess that's what part of the free ride is about. Okay, now time to, a little later in the day, we encounter another dirt road, and this one is long and not so good. So we clearly got to figure out a way around. And notice in the in the up, up ahead here, there is rain coming. So, hmm, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Well, we had to reroute out to a back highway, came across this chemical plant spewing out stuff looking like the sky. Um, but it, we avoided the rain most of the afternoon until we hit Wyoming. Then the rain turned bad and for the last hour of the day we were pretty wet and miserable. Scooters Across America, Day 6. We left Jackson, Wyoming and headed out through the Tetons in the morning. Morning started out pretty good, mixed lots of mixed clouds, but beautiful along the Tetons. And as it happened before, didn't take long and the rain started. Um, unfortunately, it was kind of the cold, miserable rain. About 40, 42 degrees out. Um, rain hard at times. Um, didn't make this part very much fun. Soon we entered Yellowstone. Um, kind of cool place. Jeffrey found some snow to play in. Uh, turns out scooters aren't really very good in the snow. Uh, and we continued up over some passes in and uh, through the park. Stopped at Old Faithful Lodge for lunch, visited their cafeteria, had to go for the sandwich and bison chili. Uh, then we had a look at Old Faithful. And for us, it was back on the road. Um, the weather turned a little better in the afternoon, but still mixed rain. We ended our day in Cook City, Montana, and had dinner at the Bear Tooth Cafe. Okay, so I know some of you are asking, how in the world did we end up with a Chinese scooter for Jeffrey to ride across the U.S.? Well, it turns out only a couple of weeks ago, Jeffrey learned that he wouldn't have a summer job, and he asked if he could join me on this summer Explore the Scooter Route trip. And I said, great. I had looked at Chinese scooters before, but I thought they're kind of a piece of junk. And I would really love people to be able to buy a $1,000 scooter and come on the route. So I'm wondering, are they all that bad? So I'm thinking I'll buy Jeffrey a new Chinese scooter and we'll ride it across the United States and see if it's any good. Then I'm looking in Craigslist and I see a Chinese scooter doesn't run four years old for 200 bucks 
And I say to Jeffrey, Jeffrey, let's go look at this scooter and see if we want to take it apart and understand what, what Chinese scooters are like. So as I'm looking at the scooter, I put the key in it and manage to break the key off and lock. Okay, and now I can't even look at the scooter under the hood. I can't open the hood. I can't do anything with it. And it doesn't have a Kickstarter. And I'm like, uh, mm, sorry, I'm not interested in it. And as I'm walking away, the guy says to me, he says, will you even give me a hundred bucks for the scooter? And I'm feeling kind of guilty because I broke the key off in the ignition. And I look at Jeffrey and think, well, you know, we're taking it apart anyway. So I say, okay, I'll give you a hundred bucks for the scooter. We get the scooter home. I pull the key out of the lock and manage to solder it together. And I put a battery in it and it starts right up. And it seems to run pretty good. And we're both kind of shocked. We're thinking of taking it apart and figuring it out. We're both kind of shocked. And so we start riding it around. And we ride it around for several days and it runs really great. And we look at each other and we say, do you suppose this old piece of junk could go all the way across the nation? And Jeffrey says, sure, Dad, why not? So we order up new tires a new belt, we change its oil, and uh, check it out a little more. We put stickers all over it to make it be cool, and we decide that's it. We're taking it. The adventure will be whatever the adventure will be, so we'll have fun either way. And for those of you that like to have this sort of info, it turns out it's a BMS Chinese scooter, 2009, and we got it with 3,700 miles on it. And, uh, well, we now have uh, almost close to 6,000 miles on it. Um, so, wow. Day 7, Scooters Across America, was the Beartooth Highway. Now, I've ridden a lot of the top passes in Colorado and Washington State and British Columbia and I'm telling you, this one was right up there. It is definitely a spectacular uh, mountain pass. So where do you think the polar bears are at? I think they're uh, under the ice over there. Oh, they're swimming? Yeah. To get food? Sure. Seemed like we just kept going up and up and up. For over an hour we climbed and oh my gosh. Um, the place turned out with lots of snow and lots of spectacular views. Near the top, we started slowing way down. I think we were under 20 at times. And you could hear the little scooters doing the, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, kind of the huff and puff. And they were even starting to miss a fair amount. Both Jeffrey and I were complaining about how poorly they were running. The elevation turned out to be somewhere around 10,900 feet, and, um, and we headed down again. Okay, something seems to be going wrong with her scooter. It makes a bad noise when it starts. The scooter's been starting really weird, other than the turn signal. It's been making this screeching noise. <laughs> Okay, now it's a little bit later. We'll try to start again. Can anybody give us some help? Anybody know what's going on? Day nine, Scooters Across America. I'm cruising along on my mighty Trail 70, and I come across a guy on the side of the road on a Harley. So I stop to offer help. You guys did all right. You guys did all right? Yeah, we're good. Having lots of fun? Yeah, tons of it. You guys on little bikes? Yeah, a little bit small. They're, they're big for their size. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How far have you guys ridden on those? Uh, about 3,000 miles. In Southern California, since San Diego. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you are the man. Yeah. Well, we got some. Well, so how's that feel in the wind? It, well, it feels slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, how about you guys? Where are you from? Cincinnati. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we just came through the Badlands. We're on our way out here to uh, Rapid City and uh, we able to stretch out. Yeah. Didn't see, didn't yeah. see any pullover spots anywhere, so we picked the next driveway. I got, I got you. <laughs> uh, well, we're headed to the Badlands ourselves right now. Hey, you guys have not, fun. not too much further. Yeah, yeah. So where are you guys headed to after that? New York City. New York City. Yeah. yeah. Then, we're, then we're done. So seven days from now we'll be in New York. So what? Where are they? What is that? A Honda? Well, this is a Chinese copy of a Honda Mini Trail 70. Really? And that's a Chinese. Uh, <laughs> You know, there's something cool about showing up on a mini bike and asking a Harley dude if he's okay somewhere in the middle of America. Anyway, we finished our day by checking out the Badlands and enjoying ourselves. Scooters across America, day 10, we're riding across Dakota and Jeffrey wanted to see what it was like to roll some hay. Only it didn't roll. It didn't seem as easy as he might have hoped. They must be stronger than me. I think it needs more air in it. It looks like it's got a flat spot. I felt like I was getting close, but I don't know. A little while later, we tried starting the scooter again. See, it was almost like, it just after you rubbed a little, it did the squeak. Alright. You know, they say you meet the nicest people on a scooter. There's somebody with a lot of energy. <laughs> How far are you coming? This guy was right out of the 60s, and somehow had decided Riding yeah? across yeah. America, yes, with his dog. And his dog is comfortably riding while he uh, pedals along. Alright. Cool. Pardon me? Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your dog's name? Sassy. Zappy? Uh. Then we met the flag lady. Stopped us for traffic. You get many guys buying big bikes like these? Oh yeah. Yeah. Jumbo, just like that. Lots of big bikers. Like. What's the end about that time? Why yeah. everybody's gonna be heading to start this? Yeah. Start. August. Next right? week, I think. Already in July. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they just ran us out of Sturgis. <laughs> and me, I I never had West, you know, West River ever. Uh, the few times I did, every time, I've just had an awful experience out there, no matter where it was. Yeah. But I never had West. My oldest son just moved away. Where'd he go? To leave. <laughs> yeah. I think that was giving me a little sign there, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, finally, get away from mom. She'll never come West. <laughs> Ten minutes later, the pilot car came, and it was all out chase to try to catch him. Scooters Across America, day 11, Iowa, kind of a corny place. We decided to have a little bit of fun with a local. Hey, we're trying to find New York. Pardon me? Can I be worried? I, don't, I wouldn't think so. There you go. We're looking pretty bad, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> what are you looking for? We're looking for New York City. The heck. The heck. Isn't that weird? We're looking for the Statue of Liberty. We're not given any maps and we have to sort of ask our way across the country. So we ask about every 20 or so miles, which way is New York? We're thinking it's this way, but anyway, can you? <laughs> I'm thinking it's that way. Okay. Any, any advice for us? Uh, interstate, but those 
No, 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 no. It's got to be all back roads. You ever been here? No. I have no idea where I am or where... I only know where I'm going, Statue of Liberty. You're kind of on a cruise, right? Pardon me? You're just kind of on a tour on your way to New York. Yeah, that's right. The Pressure Peak Recreational Area is right that way. Go that way. Yeah, okay. Go up around the lake. Up. Otherwise, a lot of pretty river, you know, stuff down All right. Kind of like that, except nicer. All right. You guys really doing this? <laughs> yeah, and we're one of several teams. And if another scooter team comes by, just yeah. the, exactly, it's that way. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Fun guy, great sense of humor. Hi there. I wonder if you could give me a little directions or advice. Okay. Um, I'm actually headed to New York. We're doing a, so I wonder which way New York is. We're doing, it's this way. Okay, we're doing a cross country scooter challenge where we're not allowed to carry any maps or anything. We're just allowed to ask the locals. Are you allowed to go interstate? No, no, we gotta go all back roads. So we're trying to figure out the, the, we're trying to beat a, a bunch of other teams. Can you go Old Highway 20? Okay, I don't know what anything is we around got, here. We got Interstate New, we got a new 20 that yeah. they've got part way through. Yeah. yeah. And it used to be Old 20 that went pretty much over to the east. Mm -hmm. Or, um, I'm trying to remember, my niece and I have brought, it took forever. I think it was Highway 30 we were on. Yeah, yeah. And that'll take you straight over to the river. Okay. Mississippi River. So, so how far this way? Um, okay, nice lady. I'm headed, I'm looking for the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Um, we're riding across country and we're not allowed to take maps or anything. We have to ask local people, like, the directions. We're thinking it's this way. What? Well, we can't do interstates. We're on the little bikes. Okay, then we'll catch Highway 30. Uh, uh, oh, how do I, I go this way for a ways and then over? Or? He's going to end his road to take a ride. Either that or come back that way and when you get clear to the stop sign, turn and go up there. Hi there. Hi. Hey, we're on a scooter adventure yeah, across yeah. America and we're headed for the Statue of Liberty. Do you know which way that is? <laughs> That's that way. We're uh, not allowed to have maps or anything. We're to have to stop and ask the local people and how to get there or whatnot. So, who are you doing this with? You know, there's a group of us. So if another group of scooters comes by, do me a favor. Tell them it's that way. Uh, tell them last intersection uh, go this yeah. way. <laughs> so is that a Honda 70? And for us, the day ended on a little bit of the old Lincoln Highway. Um, Iowa was kind of a neat place. Okay, scooters across America, day 13, back on the road. We're headed into downtown Chicago. Check it out. I'm feeling like I'm back in California splitting lanes here. Jeffrey and I first crossed over the Chicago River. Kind of hard to see here, but then we're into the city. Jeffrey's like, are you kidding me? Look at these buildings. Um, I'm checking out the buses, thinking I can beat the bicycle riders. And what's up with this? Check this out. What in the world does this mean? Right turn in front of bus, illegal. What's up with that? Then it was into Gary, Indiana. Check out the kind of vehicles they have there. And we ended up with some back roads through the lower parts of Indiana. Kind of cool. Kind of got, uh, well, Gary itself wasn't maybe so nice, but... Later, Indiana became kind of rural and backwards. It was kind of fun. Then, before we knew it, we crossed into Michigan. Check out the big difference here. Actually, we couldn't tell the difference. We didn't know when we got to Michigan. But anyway, the day ended for us in Michigan, and we had a wonderful day. Scooters across America, day 15. Check it out. We entered Pennsylvania, 
And the first weird thing we came across is this guy driving down the street with a horse and buggy. I'm thinking to myself, here's the first thing that I can overtake. So I go out for the pass. Then we see a stand on the road and understand they're the Amish. And they're selling goodies. So Jeffrey and I decide to stop for some cinnamon rolls. And they're great. Back on the road, a narrow bridge sneaks up on us. Are you, look, there's an invitation. Let's go have a second donut. Take some pictures and whatever, okay? Yeah, so I mean, and obviously with the wood burning, that's where they live and whatnot, so. Yep. So we decide to drive down this dirt road and check it out. We see in the background, there's a whole community back here. So let's go figure out what this Amish stuff is. Hello there. Okay, so now Jeffrey and I are wondering, <laughs> we just entered the 18th century, or is that I guess the 19th century? My, it looks like all kinds of good stuff here. Yes. It's my sister-in-law and I'm taking care of it today. They're having an auction for the family. I see. Huh. Would it be okay if we took some pictures here while we're here? No. No, no pictures. All right. Okay, so no more pictures with that story. Our day continued with a bunch of the back hills and neat stuff in uh, Pennsylvania. It's amazing how this place it's got awesome ups and downs and hills and some spectacular back roads. This is me chasing Jeffrey through, through the mountains. We kept coming across these signs, watch for motorcycles in people's yards. Kind of cool, not sure what they were about, but we're excited because tomorrow may be our last day. Our goal is New York City Statue of Liberty. We might make it. Scooters across America, day 16. We can smell New York. They started by riding through some back areas in Pennsylvania. Um, you can definitely see the history here. This is a place, unlike out west, this is a place with lots of fun history going on. Okay, New Jersey, here's the fun part. I just missed the video, but we're coming into this town and a bear runs across the road in front of us. Now, I thought we being in the east, we wouldn't have stuff like this, but literally, we saw a bear across the road coming into this town in New York, New Jersey. So by now, we're, on, we're in Newark and we're only a few miles away from the Statue of Liberty. So the victory cape had to come out. Now you can imagine as I'm riding this little scooter down the road with this cape going on, you can imagine the looks from the sideline we're getting. And it turns out people are waving at us. They're shouting at us. We're having fun with this. And here it is, the final bridge crossing over into uh, into New York here. I think it's New York anyway. Um, some of you may recognize this bridge, but um, we're just having the cape help us along here on the bikes. Okay, and just like that, we pulled up, rode the cobblestones down, and we pulled up to the Statue of Liberty Park. Just like that, we had made it. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? Good, I'm not going to park. I'm going to go meet that guy in the car and put the bikes in that. Do I need to pay for that somehow? We're just putting the bikes in there. <laughs> You're here, man. I'll need to come back soon. Okay. Thanks. Right. Have a good one. And 
our friend John Jay and his family showed up uh, to meet us down here. Uh, they live in New Jersey. They showed up to meet us down here, and they brought a uh, car and trailer so that we could just. Oh, how fun! <laughs> All right. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Glad, glad you made it. <laughs> Caitlin, Kevin. <laughs> nice to meet you. I like the video of you guys meeting up with the Amish. They don't like having their picture And just like that, the ride was over. We had ridden all the way across the United States on these little tiny scooters, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves, and the ride was over. I couldn't help but thinking about Forrest Gump. What do we do now? Any Guess we'll turn around and ride back. Anyone want to ride back with us? And when I got there, I figured since I've gone this far, I might as well turn around, just keep on going. When I got to another ocean, I figured since I've gone this far, I might as well just turn back, keep right on going. Okay, so who wants to join us on the return trip next summer? See the web link in the description uh, to find out information.